welcome back to my YouTube channel. What I thought I'd do today is answer some questions that I have actually had from my online coaching clients and then I'm going to kind of split them up into different YouTube videos. So the next few videos are going to be common questions that people ask about nutrition, fitness and weight loss and then I'm going to put them up as YouTube videos because I'm also sending this video, these videos out to my clients as well. So if you find the video helpful, don't forget to give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's get straight into it. Why do we crave carbs and how this can affect our diet if eaten too much or not enough and what to focus on instead? So carbohydrates is a big topic. If you want me to do another video on carbohydrates, let me know below because um, that's a big topic. But just to first say, carbohydrates are made up of sugars, glucose, sucrose, fruc fructose. You have simple, you've got complex, you've got refined carbs. And do remember that fruit and vegetables are a carbohydrate. So a lot of people say, oh, why do we crave carbs? I don't know if you meant fruit or vegetables or donuts. So that's where it's very tricky and the diet industry has ruined the word carbohydrate because like I said, a berry, a blueberry is a carbohydrate. So when this lady asked, why do we crave carbs? I'm guessing she means the kind of more unhealthy kind that tend to have more glucose in, not things like blueberries, which have fructose in. And she means more refined carbs, I'm guessing. So that's a big topic in itself. And if you would like me to talk more on carbohydrates, I can. But in the terms of answering her question, which is what I think she means, which is why do we crave refined carbs and processed carbs like donuts? It tends to be because if you have been eating a lot of those things before, it's just from taking those out of your diet, you're going to crave something that you've taken out. However, over time, trust me, those cravings will go. The less you have something, the less you crave it. That goes for anything in life. If you're addicted to social media, when you stop going on it, you're obviously gonna to wanna to watch it, but the less you consume it, the less you want it. It's the same for any sort of addiction. And yes, a lot of people are addicted to sugar. It lights up the same part of your brain that some drugs do. That's how strong and powerful it is. And it is incredibly addictive. So it can take time to wean yourself off it and for me I just I don't crave it so you will get there however one thing I would say is to eliminate it in your house if you can so take things out of your house so you can't binge in on it and just understand that when you eat sugar the science side of it your insulin levels go like this and then they tend to come crashing down and that is why then you want more, this is, sorry, this is for the refined, the, the kind of worst carbohydrates, so that's what happens. It goes up and then it comes crashing down and then you have your craving and then you eat another biscuit and then it goes like this. When we talk about healthier carbohydrates, like let's talk about oats, they have a lower glycemic index. So when you eat oats, your sugar level, uh, insulin levels go like this. So it's very different. So that's why there's a lot of science behind carbs and why when you eat some, you feel better. Like if you ate a sweet potato, you feel better than when you have a donut because sweet potato, your insulin levels are released like this. Your energy is released slowly over the next few hours. You have your donut and it goes like this, whew, and then comes crashing down and you're like, oh my God, I want another donut and another. And then you feel awful and you have brain fog and you have energy dips. So just not the best for you. Um, and it, the less you have them, the less cravings you will have as well. So it's better to go for your healthier carbohydrates like potato or brown rice or brown pasta or all your vegetables or your fruits, things like that. So, but they do have their place. For example, I would say like having um, some carbohydrates before you train, like the more simple ones are great because they're released really quickly and you actually want that before you exercise. <laughs> so it depends on that kind of thing. But I would just try eliminating them slowly out of your diet. Do not cut them out or instantly, the things that you enjoy because you're going to want them more. And one last thing to add is hormones. If you have a normal cycle and you get periods, you will get cravings and they lead up to your period and that's something to be aware of as well. So all women, if you have a period, you should be tracking your cycle. And this is so you know, if you're having cravings, you can open your app and go, oh, it's just my hormones. And you know where you're at, you know where you're feeling shit, you know where you're moody, you know even where you're feeling really good one week, you can look at your cycle and it will help you understand and then you don't have to listen to it because you can say, oh, it's hormones, I'm not actually craving my you know biscuits might have one or two but you can understand your 
body more. So please remember that because that's actually really important as a woman as well to understand. Um, but yeah, if you want me to do more in depth about carbohydrates, I can do a whole topic on that. Um, just one last thing is when she did ask what happens if we don't eat enough, um, it's really important you eat enough carbohydrates if you are, especially if you are exercising. Um, it's really important to fuel those muscles and you need them for energy. And when people say I'm not having carbs, I'm like, are you having fruits or vegetables? And they're like, yeah. So you are having carbs. If you're eating fruit and vegetables, you are having carbs. I would suggest minimizing the bad kinds of carbs if you're trying to lose weight, they do have an effect on your weight loss journey and they won't make you feel good. That's the main thing. They're gonna make you have cravings, they're gonna give you brain fog, um, they tend to cause gut issues. So they're just not great. Whereas if you go for your healthy carbs, you're gonna feel good. If you are eliminating fruits and veg as well, then you're you are doing ketogenic diet. So, which I also wouldn't recommend doing long-term and not using as weight loss because it doesn't lead to great results. But if you are going for your healthier carbs, that is good. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about what I've spoken about, do feel free to drop a comment below. And also, if you are interested in working with me with online coaching, then hit the link in the description box to inquire. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.